Hi everyone, in this video we are going to look at how to set up a Django application on a Linux server with Postgres, Gnocon and Nginx. Postgres will act as our database server. Gnocon will serve as an interface with our application while Nginx will act as a proxy to Gnocon and also serve the static files. First step, uh, we need to install Python uh, pip3. In this case, we'll use Python 3. Then install Postgres and install Nginx. The installation of Nginx and Postgres is completed. Then we will create a database. So is sudo postgres postgres is the default postgres user then we can create database so i'll just call it uh, create database so we create database and we give it a name so my name uh, i'll give it uh, just test then after we create the database we need to create a user and the password so create user then we give the username so you can test test user with password let's give the password same as the test user Or we grant all privileges grant or the database is called test to test user that is grant all privileges on not to it's on okay then once that is done now we can quit uh we leave that we need to install virtual env <coughs> so virtual env uh will uh, we are going to create virtual env for python 3 uh, we use virtual env to manage the packages and so i'll install virtual env okay then after that i'll make a directory where our project is going to be a directory where we are going to have our did our, our, our files all our program files so mkdr call it test up so i've created that file then we so i'm inside that folder that we've just created then inside that folder i create a virtual environment so i can call it test env okay so if you look inside the folder i have a test env and now um we are going to deploy this up for exporting excel okay and we have a requirement uh dot txt so we need to install this requirement dot txt so in i'm going to pull the code from my github repository so this is my github repository so i'll come here and get the url for my github repository so i'm going to use this application 
so it's git clone so I have the applications file there so I can go to that and you can see these are the, the other files so I want to install I want to activate first of all I activate them virtual env so that's source bin then activate source test bin activate so I've activated my uh, virtual env then I can go to the location of the code and do pip install <coughs> minus l minus r requirement dot txt okay so it's done then from there I need to install Gnocon pip install Gnocon <laughs> so I've installed Gnocon do migrations to migrate all my data so uh, to do migration is uh, python manage.py make migrations then nothing to then we migrate migrate okay so I've migrated all my data then I create the super user so it's python manage.py create super user and the super user I can give it whichever name at gmail.com then you can put in the password say yes okay Zolo. okay then from there now you can start the application so to start the application we can do python manage dot pi and server zero dot zero dot zero dot zero port eight thousand and you can see the application have started and based on the our public IP these are our public IP from DigitalOcean so if you come here type in the public IP then you'll be able to see that you can be able to view in this case you can see we are getting it disallowed we need to add this IP to the allowed IPs in the settings files of our application so I'll come back here then maybe okay. but now so we are using the test server but in up in production you're not supposed to use the test server so we are supposed to use Ginacon and uh, Nginx so uh, we are going now to add the settings for Gnocon and the setting for Nginx. Okay, so then yeah, I'll add the settings. Okay, then in our case, user is host. Then group equals the data. Okay, and we can get the values. So our directory is root, our directory is root, then get up. Then for our env, we have our env called the test env 
So you have the Unicorn settings. So here is your working. So we are using root user, and here is our working directory, and this is where our virtual env is located. Root test app test env. Then on this side is where our socket. So uh, it's <coughs> this is where the code application file are located. Then this name excel wsgi uh, full current application should be exactly the same as the name specified in WC WSGI here. You can see here it's Excel. Okay, then we save those settings. Then after that, we add, we need to start the Gnocon. then enable the gnocon okay no error no, it's fine it has been enabled then we can check the we can check the status it's working fine now we can see <coughs> that gnocon is running now we need to add the settings for nginx sites available we can create a new file on site available and we can call it uh, test app and then on the test app we can add the nginx settings So, should be having all the address now, changing the address. So, and add that address. Then, uh, our host folder, our directory is home. Set up. Then, our, where our DJS is running, our socket is called Excel. 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 Then, it's located in the folder, right? It's located in home. It's located in the host. Then, test up. Then, uh, Excel. Export. The same here, it's located on root. On root. Root. Now, test up. And our DJS is running on root. Test up. Excel. Export. Excel. Export. That's okay. We check whether the Nginx settings are okay. Okay, successful. Then we create, um, we add that file into site enabled. So how to do that? Mm. So it's that one. Then we take the the path for the settings file then the path for site enabled okay then after that now we can restart our nginx service nginx restart and you can check service nginx status running 